Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends, but waiting just around the Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Gio Mejia. And I'm Harrison Martin. Today is Wednesday, March 20th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Our Poly Club 6th Annual Luau is this Saturday, March 23rd, from 7 to 9 p.m. Tickets will be going out soon, so keep an eye out. There will be $8 pre-sale and $10 at the door. Feel free to ask any of the Poly Dancers if you have any questions. There's an... Luau is coming up and we will be showcasing a variety of the Polynesian culture so we will be performing uh, Tahitians, Hawaiians, and Samoan pieces. The guest performances that we will be having at our Luau are our very own K-pop, TDC, and other schools. Tickets will be sold at student store for $8 pre-sale and at the door $10. They will also be sold online for $8 as well and we also include food in the ticket price as well. So thank you. There is an FCA meeting tomorrow. Monica Sandoval will be speaking. The rooms are HM2 for early lunch and L3 for late lunch. Come by and get free pizza. You don't have to be a Christian or an athlete to attend. Hey Med Pros, today we will have a UC Davis nurse as our guest speaker in room HB3 from 3.30 to 4.30. You won't want to miss it. Attention Latino Club members, there is a mandatory meeting tomorrow at, at 3.20 in HM1, Senora Paredes Room. We need to discuss our participation in Discover CO, Easter Carnival for Ronald McDonald Foundation, and the Kids Day with the Latino Arts Center. See you there. Don't be late. Could you use some community service hours? Do you like to meet new people? Do you like to help? Do you like cookies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you should come to the Interact meeting today at 3.20 in HM2. We will be stuffing goodie bags for a taste of Elk Grove, a fundra fundraising event that benefits many local nonprofit organizations. Hope to see you there. Now let's pass that on over to Cash and Kevin for In the News. Thanks, Harrison. How's it going, Wolfpack? I'm Cash Bullock. And I'm Kevin Guardado, and we're here with your first In the News report of the term. We begin today with shedding light today, as not only did the World Wide Web turn 30, but a terrible tragedy has struck the people of New Zealand. Last week, 28-year-old Australian Brenton Tarrant walked into the Christchurch Mosque and opened fire, killing an estimated 50 people and injuring many more. Tarrant's manifesto has recently been released to the public, as well as videos appearing on the dark website 8chan of Tarrant live-streaming his actions. In the manifesto, Tarrant's twisted mind was out in full force, as he wrote things like, Yes, Spyro the Dragon 3 taught me ethno-nationalism, Fortnite trained me to be a killer, and then in the live stream posted to Achan referenced the phrase, subscribe to PewDiePie. The YouTuber himself, Felix Schelberg, did not take kindly to this, saying, quote, I feel absolutely sickened having my name uttered by this person, end quote. Moving on, in Great Britain, Brexit is in its most crucial stage. This Friday, Prime Minister Theresa May will, will travel to Brussels, Belgium to meet with European Union leaders and request an extension to Article 50, the legal process where Britain will leave the EU if, if they agree. Brexit will be delayed beyond the March 29th deadline. The thing is, if May is forced to ask for an extension, the EU will charge up to £1 billion a month for as long as it takes. Naturally, the British Brexiteers are not happy with this, as many were outside the British Parliament to protest May's deal. Among the protesters were members of the UP and coming United Kingdom Independence Party, UKIP. In other news, get ready, Wolfpack, as tardies are tightening up for fourth term. The gates will be closed at the tardy bell, and all tardy students are required to go through the front office to get a late slip. There are students who make it through the gate before the toddy bell, but do not make it in class on time. So security and admin will encourage those students to uh, go to the windows and obtain the toddy slip. Well, that's all from us uh, this week, Wolfpack. See you next week with more news, national and abroad. 
Thanks guys. If you are placed on the no activities list and have purchased your senior ball ticket, your ticket will be placed on hold until your detention is served or library fine is cleared. If you fail to serve your detention or clear your library fine before the week of March 25th through March of 29th, you forfeit, forfeit your ticket and will be unable to attend senior ball. After school detentions will be held this Friday, March 22nd. Lunch detentions are every Tuesday and Thursday, so please check the bulletin board outside of the B VP office for detention locations. The Creative Writing Club is hosting Open Mic Night, an event for students to perform and listen to creative pieces in the Culinary Building on Friday, April 12th from 6 to 8 p.m. Submissions are open now and can be submitted to cohscreativewriting at gmail.com or to Miss Dobbins Room HL8 until Monday, April 8th. Submissions may include short stories, poems, prose, excerpts, songs, and other creative work. This is a free event to come out and support your friends before heading out to spring break. There's a mandatory senior parent graduation meeting tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. in the MP room. The student store is closed this week for inventory. It will, be, it will reopen as normal on March 25th. Seniors, today is the final orientation workshop for those of you who plan to, to attend CRC in the fall of 2019. If you haven't received a pass, come to the Career Center to pick yours up as well. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Gio Mejia. And I'm Harrison Martin. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Stay dry out there, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.